Welcome to Evan Barber's incredible world of just really, really good computer learning. Uh, the first thing we'll be doing is uh, looking at the actual batch program file I've already created. Uh, let's use magnifier to help with it a bit. First line. So if, if you know your stuff, you know, this is, you know, you can just hurry up and just copy it and ignore the rest of this video. But if you don't, you know, sit around and uh, learn a spell. Get, try get in the middle for everyone. Come on. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. There we go. At echo off turns off the visible commands because there's a window that pops up when you initiate a batch file in the background. You'll see it. C program. Uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna mouse thing in uh, alcohol using a batch file, you have to initiate the ax command exe beforehand for some strange reason. And here it just points to the out. You can see the program files alcohol soft alcohol subdirectory ax command exe. See these little um, uh, uh, quotes around the uh, the path here, and that it that cause that commands that commands batch to uh, to ignore these spaces in between the file names because even though we don't use DOS anymore in Windows, I mean DOS and Windows are two completely different things now. They're not even related. You don't use anything, but if you're using a batch file. It's kind of not DOS. Kind of, it's kind of DOS, kind of not DOS. So you have to. It's DOS. It's DOS. You're using DOS. You're using DOS commands to to run something. And uh, DOS can, and what proves is that DOS can't actually recognize spaces in between file names. You have to put these quotes around your path so that it ignores it and treats it and treats it and treats these spaces like no space. And then after that, I have F. F is my virtual. Whoa, that went off a bit. F is my virtual drive. And if I can get alcohol running here, you'll notice that. Oh, no, no need to actually get up after I double click you. There we go. You'll notice right here, F. Let me unmount what's already on there. F is my virtual drive right there. A very nice virtual drive. Minimize this. Here are the basic commands alcohol needs in order to function. Here's my ax command. You recognize it's a lot simpler on here because the syntax for here requires that I actually show the batch file where this program's at. Whereas with this syntax, I guess it's assuming you're just typing within um, maybe the file directory already. Maybe you're already typing this within alcohol. Maybe you're typing this within the run option on the start menu. I don't know. Uh, then forward slash M for mount, or you can use U for unmount. Very creative there. Very creative. And then the path of the actual, not ISO, I'm not using ISO right now, but I'm using an MDF file that I wish to mount, which is right here on my desktop. So you see this right here. Well, this right here. Right there. Uh, Anyway, there we go. This right there points to this pro file right there. Right click that file, the file the ISO, the MDF, whatever program you want, to, what you want to choose, and make sure that it points to Alcohol 52 as the program that's going to open it up. That's very important. This will cut a lot of time and, a, and, and I'm pretty sure a little bit of coding out of your batch file if you just point it right here right there so you know like alcohol you can browse for it too and it's going to be under your like oh where could it be well it's probably going to be under your alcohol soft alcohol 52 and there's your alcohol right there then open okay okay again and now this program once your batch file is double clicked understands to open un, is uh, it's already understood that, it will, that this will be opened with alcohol so let me s save this file save as uh, Diablo 2 Diablo 2 dot bat make sure it's a bat file and this is all being done within a uh, notepad yes I'll replace it see this is all this is all notepad right? you can tell by the little notepad right there oh that I've accidentally uh, just 
done something with. See, notepad. Same thing. You make uh, the batch files with that. And then you go up to uh, the Diablo 2. Here's the batch file I made. It has a little cool little gear on it right there. Double click it. See, no no commands. That's what the at um, uh, echo off did. And boosh! There we go. Diablo 2. Enjoy.